Odog Anton Pure to Chill here. Um, it's my artist name, Odog Anton Pure to Chill. Good to see everybody. Um, so Odog, three names: Odog Anton Pure and the Chill. Odog is kind of like the uh, the one. He's kind of uh, sexually explicit a little bit. Um, he likes to have fun. He's a clown. You know, you can't really take him seriously. Um, what's going on, boss lady? Um, but he's all about, um, you know. He's a thug, he's a little gangster, he likes to have fun and things like that. The second name is Anti-Imperial. Anti-Imperial is all about upliftment, education, sociology, psychology, philosophy, physiology, things like that, economics, um, political science, geography, history, and things like that. And the last name is The Chill. What's going on, Ashley Elizabeth? I see you, sister Ashley Elizabeth, the one and only. Um, and The Chill is a hopeless romantic. He's all about falling in love, raising a family, and things like that. This is Diversity Outspoken. We do this every Wednesday night and every Sunday night, and that is 9 o'clock p.m. That is Eastern Time Zone, United States Time Zone. So every Wednesday night, 9 o'clock p.m., Eastern Time Zone, United States Time. And every Sunday night, 9 o'clock p.m., United States Time, Eastern Time Zone. We call this Diversity Outspoken because we speak about a diverse range of topics, meaning that we speak about anything and everything, and we are outspoken or straight to the point about all of those topics. Every day, you guys, I do a daily historical post. If you guys ever are bored or you're just chilling and you want to know what happened on a, on a particular day, going back decades, going back hundreds of years, going back thousands of years, centuries and everything, um, you guys can check out my daily historical post. Centuries are hundreds of years. You guys can t- check out my daily historical post and see what happened on that particular day going back in time. What's going on, Scott? I see you, Scott. It's all good. It's all good. What's going on, Michelle DeMarcus? Michelle DeMarcus, Leroy Green, for sure, for sure. One, two, nine. I see y'all. I see y'all. Also, you guys, um, while I'm here, I have one rule, one rule only. That is that we're respectful. You guys are always respectful of the entire environment and of one another. That's all I ask, that you guys are respectful. But I never have to worry about that with you guys here because you guys are so perfect. You guys are always respectful. I never have a problem with you guys here. It's all good. You guys can get in touch with me. This right here, Diversity Outspoken will be also uploaded. What's going on, Michael Hines? Michael Hines, what's going on? What's up? 9843. This will also be uploaded on YouTube, you guys. Um, But if you guys want to follow me on Instagram and TikTok, you can follow me on Instagram and TikTok or TikTok and or. You guys can follow me on Instagram and TikTok at anti underscore imperial. It's right here on the shirt and at anti underscore imperial. Make sure you have that underscore on Instagram and TikTok. On YouTube, it's just anti-imperial without the underscore. Anti-imperial with a space in between on YouTube. On Instagram and on TikTok, it's anti-underscore imperial. YouTube, no underscore. Instagram and TikTok, underscore. YouTube, no underscore. Instagram and TikTok, underscore. And that's how that goes. Y'all know I'm a nerd. Y'all know I'm a dork. Y'all might as well just go ahead. Y'all know I'm crazy. Y'all might as well go ahead and smile with me. (laughs) It's all good. So, um, besides that, you guys... The easiest way, if you have me on Instagram, to subscribe to my YouTube, and you want to be subscribed to my YouTube, the easiest way um, to, uh, if you have me on Instagram, to subscribe to my YouTube is to go to my Instagram bio page. You guys know we all get that IG bio page, and on that Instagram bio page, what's going on, Roma503, Roma on that Instagram bio page, um, we all get that one line for a link, and that link will always be my latest video. So if you go to my Instagram bio page, click that link. And when the video comes up, it will be a YouTube video, and you just go ahead and hit the subscribe button right there. And that's the easiest way to subscribe if you have me on Instagram. What's going on, Tennessee? Tennessee 3416, I see you. So last time, you guys, we were talking about jealousy. We're going to do part two. Um, last time was the first part of talking about jealousy, jealousy, jealousy. Roma, you are the best. You are the best, Roma. Definitely, definitely, definitely. And so um, what we went through... I began, and we started talking about, uh, well, first of all, I began with the song, Hey Jealousy. So if you haven't seen that, you'll have to go see that on the first one. Um, but I talked about how, how Shakespeare called Jealousy the Green-Eyed Monster. I went through how, what's going on, Pink, Slip, Pink Lips Lucky. I see you, Pink Lips Lucky, the one and only. The beautiful Cortland Ryan's in the building also. Cortland Ryan has joined us. What's going on, Cortland Ryan? It's all good. Uh, jealousy is a first-person emotion. I told you guys that jealousy was all about you. Um, not about the other person, um, and, and the problem is you. So when some, so when you're jealous of somebody else, the problem is you. I'm doing wonderful, beautiful Cortland Ryan. How you doing? Um, the problem is always you. Now, I went through how if somebody does you wrong, they did wrong, right? They did something wrong, right? So if somebody, for example, cheats on you, okay, 
yes, they, they did you wrong. So let's say if I was with a girl, I gave this example, but if I was with a girl named like Susan, right? And Susan cheated on me with Charlie, okay? So Susan cheated on me and... And it's all good. Cortland Ryan says, I'm doing well watching you and Dallas Housewives. Hey, that's what's going on. That's what's going on. I, I, I'll contact you later for an update. <laughs> it's all good. Cortland Ryan watching Dallas Housewives. Watching me and Dallas Housewives, I feel I feel honored to be in the same breath. <laughs> <laughs> the beautiful Cortland Ryan, Lyles Leonard, Lyles Leonard in the building, Lyles Leonard has joined us, it's all good. I told you guys that jealousy is all about you, it's not about the other person, so if I'm with Susan and Susan cheats on me with Charlie, and let's say I'm jealous of Charlie, I want to fight Charlie, I hate Charlie because Susan cheated on me. Yes, Susan did do me wrong, right, but me being jealous, that's about me. That's my insecurities, okay? So even if somebody did you wrong, you being jealous is about you. Because even though Susan cheated on me, Roselle Poeta, brethren, welcome on, brethren. Roselle, the one and only. It's all good. <laughs> it's all good. But um, even though Susan did me wrong and cheated on me, and let's say Charlie knew that Susan was married to me, so Charlie might have did me wrong, let's say. That doesn't mean that my reaction has to be jealousy. Me being jealous, that's my reaction. So I control that. So if you are jealous of somebody else, that is your problem. That is your problem you have to solve within yourself. That is a first person emotion. Bless, bless, Razelle, bless. Daniel, I see you. Daniel, Daniel Gomez, ABC in the building. It's all good. So with jealousy, the problem is you. The problem is not the other person. If you are jealous, you have to fix that within yourself. It's not the other person's fault that you are jealous, okay? It's not the other person's fault that you are jealous. Even if they did you wrong, it is your fault. Jealous is a personal emotion, all right? Jealous is a personal emotion. I went through how studies show that kids as young as um, six months old get jealous, you guys. And I went through how even in other, even in other animals, monkeys, apes, lions, tigers, bears... Little newborns get jealous of their mothers if their mothers show their other siblings attention, okay? Monkeys, lions, tigers, bears, all of that, they all get jealous. So, jealousy is not something that just human beings suffer from. Jealousy is something that biological um, creatures suffer from, okay? Biological creatures in the animal kingdom, we all suffer from jealousy. Doesn't matter, humans, apes, monkeys, gorillas, bears, tigers, dogs... We all suffer from jealousy, okay? Everybody in the, um, in the animal kingdom, as far as human biological creatures, as far as biological creatures go, all right? Humans included, okay? Now, even though jealousy, I went through, even though jealousy starts at six months, six years old, even um, old people also go through jealousy. So even though jealousy starts at six months, six, six months old in babies, you guys, for humans, um, if you don't fix that within yourself, you can be a jealous person for the rest of your life. You guys, we know old people who are jealous. I went through that. If I'm going kind of fast right now, it's because I've, I've covered all of this already on part one the other day, last episode. Um, so right now I'm just doing a review before we get to part two. So I'm, that's why I'm going fast. Okay. I went through how jealousy blinds you and leads um, especially in men, okay, especially in men, jealousy blinds you and leads you to go into rages of violence and passionate violent acts, okay, so especially in men, um, because when men get jealous, they a lot of times go to, um, um, want to fight guy, other guys and want to kill other guys, and there are many men that are serving prison time because they were jealous of things, all right, they were jealous of things, what's going on, Tillis, I see you, all right, so that's what jealousy does with that. I went through from that point on, I got into the branching from men being jealous. I got into how um, I gave an example about um, like guys like in the quote unquote ghetto or hood and rappers being killed because of jealousy. And we see this all the time, right? They call them haters or, or you know, people are salty or whatever it is. Okay. And that is all jealousy. Now, what I wanted to do at that point, you guys, what I went over the other day, what I started to go over the other day, what I wanted to do was... I started from the point of view of trying to make you guys see, because I try to look at things from different points of view, so I try to make you guys see things from just like, not even one point of view or the other point of view, but just kind of in the middle on why guys 
why guys get jealous of other guys that have more than them, right? And I was using kind of like rappers as an example, okay? But why guys get jealous of other guys that have more than them? So what I started to talk about was kind of like regular guys versus like rappers, right? Or regular guys versus like guys with money, okay? So either or. Regular guys versus rappers, regular guys versus guys with money, all right? So regular guys, I started to go over you guys the other day. Regular guys, they hate on guys with money because they can't understand why these guys with money are blessed by God. So I was using rappers, right? So let's say regular guys, they hate rappers. And so what, what a regular guy thinks about is this, right? From the regular guy's point of view, this is how they look at it. They say, you know what? Why is this other person, this rapper, why is this other person blessed by God and I wasn't, right? Because if this other person makes all this money because they're able to put rhyming words together, right? They're able to put rhyming words together and therefore God has blessed them with all this money. Why didn't God bless me with this money? And this is essentially what, go, what goes on in their mind without them thinking this exact thought. This is basically what's going on in their mind. Because the way they look at it is this. They say, you know what? We grew up the same way, right? This rapper guy that has all this money, all this success, this rapper guy, this guy grew up in a single mother household. I grew up in a single mother household. This guy grew up, his dad wasn't there. My dad wasn't there. This guy grew up in a bad neighborhood, in the hood or whatever, underprivileged. They didn't have a lot of money. Same thing with me. I grew up in the hood, underprivileged. My family didn't have a lot of money, right? This rapper guy, his mom worked a whole bunch of jobs because she was a single mother. My mom did the same thing. My mom struggled. My mom worked a whole bunch of jobs because she was a single mother, okay? So they start to cloak that idea in their mind. They say, I had the same home life as this rapper. I had everything, right? I'm a human just like this rapper. I bleed just like this rapper. So why is it that God blessed this rapper with this talent of putting words together in rhymes and didn't bless me, right? Not only that, as we know and we all see, there are many rappers who are much more talented, who can rap much better, who have a better vocab vocabulary, who have better words putting together, right? They, they are better, but they don't make as much money as the rappers who just talk nonsense. So then this makes the regular guys even more angry. They're like, you know what? I even rap better than this rapper guy, and God is blessing this rapper guy, and he's not even that talented. So then the jealousy starts to fester in the regular guy even more, starts to fester even more, right? And not only they're thinking, has God blessed this, this rapper, right? And it hasn't blessed me, but man, this is where it really starts to get bad. If this regular guy grew up in the same town as the rapper, or grew up in the same neighborhood as the rapper, or grew up a friend of the rapper or grew up and went to the same school as the rapper because if you went to the same school grew up in the same neighborhood grew up in the same town or city or community the regular guy really starts to hate the rapper now because to the regular guy he's saying man I sat right beside this rapper in school so why would God choose to bless him and not me? This is where you get your haters, you guys. Everybody wonder why, how, how you get haters and people that are jealous. This is how it happens. Because if you even take it away from the rapper, the rapper aspect, right? The rapper example I'm using, which I'm, I'm going to go back to it in a second. But if you take it away from that, you might be a regular person wanting to start your own business. And when you start your own business... You're going to have some of your friends are going to be happy for you, but guess what? There are going to be other friends that you have that are going to be talking behind your back, talking about you, talking mess, talking S-H-I-T about you behind your back. Hoping that your business fails for the same exact reason, because they grew up with you. They were there beside you when you were equal to them. 
and they cannot stand that they grew up with you, you were equal to them, and now you're going to start your own business and surpass them. Your own friends will be jealous of you. They will want you to fail. They don't want your business to succeed. They will be talking with your other friends to your other friends behind your back. Man, that story he got stupid. That shit ain't going to do nothing. They will celebrate quietly if your store gets closed down, if you fail. Your own friends. Because people cannot stand. If you started off on the same kind of plateau that they did, and eventually you start to pass them. People don't like that. People don't like that. And particularly, getting back to the rapper example, getting back to the rapper example, Particularly if you grew up beside them. Because then guess what? They're like, not only has this rapper been blessed by God. Not only has God blessed this rapper with success and things like that. But man, I grew up with this rapper. I'm from the same type of neighborhood. I grew up the same type of way. I was in the same classroom with this rapper. And God, and God just skipped over me. God didn't bless me. What's going on, Antonio? I see you. God just skipped over me. God didn't bless me. Right? This is what they're thinking now. This is jealousy. Not only did God not bless me, but man, this rapper has millions for just putting rhymes together. And I'm struggling. I'm broke. Baby mama getting on my nerves. Can't afford to take care of my children. And I sat right beside, I sat in the same classroom with this rapper. Why couldn't God bless me in the same way? And jealousy starts to just get worse and worse and worse. And not only that, this one even makes it even, this, this, now this drives him over the edge, the regular guy. Not only that, the regular guy says, but this rapper who to me is not even that talented. What's going on, Tan 199? I see you. This rapper, the jealous, jealous guy says, this is how jealousy works. This rapper, who is not only not talented from my point of view, the, re the regular guy says, who's getting jealous, but this rapper has the nerve to throw it in my face. Cash, stacks of cash, he puts it to his ear. Like a telephone. He has a whole bunch of chains on. He's always showing off on social media. Stacks of money. He's always showing off on social media. Cars and all this. He's always showing off on social media. He goes in the club. He goes in strip clubs. This rapper. This is what the regular guy's thinking. Getting jealous. He goes in the strip club and throws the money away. Sometimes. Guess what I even see him doing. He's on social media burning money. And I'm struggling. This is what the regular guy thinks. So. And I'm struggling. And he's burning money in my face. God bless him. God didn't bless me. I'm broke. I'm stressed out. I'm poor. And God blessed this guy. And he's burning money and throwing it away. And that jealousy that they have in them, that's what leads to them wanting to rob the rapper and hurt the rapper and kill the rapper and beat up the rapper and murder the rapper. Because in their mind, the jealous guy, in their mind, they think, you know what? They don't deserve it. God bless him. God bless the rapper. And that rapper does not deserve it. I'm going to take it away from him. And that's how that jealousy consumes them. So let me tell you guys, jealousy, you guys, jealousy, jealousy, jealousy will be all around you. Take the rapper example out for all of us. Jealousy is going to be all around you, whether you like it or not, because I want you guys to succeed in life and I want you guys to rise up to get to the certain point in life where you want to be. And just know that when this starts to happen, when you begin to rise up, you guys, 
be very, very, very careful of your friends around you, of your family members around you, of your people around you. I see you, Captain. Captain Chauncey. Captain Chancey, I see you. Be careful of the jealousy that will surround you when you begin to succeed in life, okay? Because it's going to be all around you. And it comes from the people closest to you, all right? That is why they tell rappers, when you start to make it, move out of your city or move out of your town. Because it's the people that are closest to you, you guys, that will be the most jealous of you. And taking the rapper stuff out of the equation, you guys, us, us, regular people, if you want to start a business, if you're going to move on, if you want to get a promotion, if you want to get a promotion, there'll be people at your job that'll be hating on you because you and them are here. And now that you're going to get that promotion at your job, you're about to move past them. You won't be on the same level as them anymore. Okay? And that will drive people crazy. Queen, what's going on, Queen? I see you, sister. That will drive people crazy. All right? So I'm just telling you guys because I, I know in my heart of hearts, I hope and I know and I wish and I pray that all of you make it to where you want to be in life. All of you make it to the success level that you want to be in life. But I'm here to tell you and warn you. Once you start to be more successful and you start to surpass the people that you started off with, whether it's at a job and you get a promotion and start to pass your co-workers, whether it's your friends and you start to get and you open your own company and start to pass them, they are going to be jealous of you. There are going to be some that are going to be real friends. They'll be happy for you. But you'll find that the majority of people, they will be jealous of you. Because people like you. People like you. What's going on, beautiful Jewel? What's going on, Vic? Vic, gotcha. People like you when you're on the same level that they are. Oh, they love you. They love you when you're on the same level that they're on. But boy, when you start to become more successful and do things better for yourself and you start to pass them, they're going to be jealous of you. People that you wouldn't have even imagined. Closest friends. Family members. The more you surpass them, the more they're going to be jealous of you and you will not even realize it. You wouldn't have even thought so. You wouldn't have even thought that that person would be the person talking about you behind your back. I'm telling you. Jealousy is a, a crazy thing. Jealousy is a crazy, crazy, crazy thing, you guys. And um, you got to be very, very careful because when people start to be jealous of you, then they will start to want to sabotage you behind your back. Especially if you're at work, like I said, you might be at work and get a promotion. And if you're at work and you get a promotion, the co-workers, your, your, your co-workers that were your friends at work for years and years and years will start to talk about you behind your back because you're going to start surpassing them. Even if they congratulate you for getting your for getting your promotion behind your back, they'll be starting to talk about you. It's bad, right? Jealousy. Jealousy is that green-eyed monster. That green-eyed monster that many people can't escape. GFN, I see you. GFN, Matate, what's going on? It's all good. It's all good. And don't let it be because, man, you'll have it, especially with guys. You'll have it. And getting back to my rapper example, if you have a rapper that comes out, and this is why rappers, like I said before, have to move out of their own cities and stuff. If you have a rapper, when they come out and they're like, you know, rap, you know, rappers are kind of like, you know, you, you, you know, you have the love rap and stuff like that. But you have people that, you know, what's going on, Conceited Mika, I see you. But they come out and they talk kind of hard. You'll have, and this is why rappers have to move out of their city, because you'll have people in their hood that's like, man, I remember when, we, I remember when you were nine years old. And them boys took your bike and you were crying. And that boy smacked you across your face when we were all nine years old. When we were 10 years old or 11. And now that you're 18, 19, now, now, now you're, you're rapping like you're the hardest guy ever. Right? So you have to move out. You have to move away from people sometimes. And you guys to bring to take the rapper example and put it out and come and bring it back to us. Sometimes 
when you do something, when you start to raise above your friends, when you start to make yourself better, when you start to have more success in life, and you start to, and your friends are doing the same thing they always were doing, but you start to get your life together, you start to move past them. You guys, sometimes you have to cut people out. Sometimes you just have to go off on your own. Just start to concentrate on you and your immediate family, your children. And just forget your friends. And forget some of your family members. And just start to do it on your own, you guys. Because they're not going to want to see you surpass them. People, are, people don't want to see you do that. So jealousy. This is all about jealousy. Jealousy is a really, really dangerous thing, you guys. Really, really dangerous thing jealousy is. Okay? Really dangerous. All right? Man, you have it, you guys, to where not only... Not only are you going to have to distance yourself from people who are going to start to be jealous of you when you start to do things better for yourself, but also you'll have people try to distance, you'll have people get jealous of you, even if it's not a financial thing. What's going on, Superstar 617? How you doing, sister? We with coffee, 420, I see you. Dante Leisha, I see you, I see you. Not only are you going to have to distance yourself away from people when you start to become more successful than your friends and they start to get jealous of you, when you start to become more successful and get promotions at work and your coworkers start to get jealous of you, not only are you going to start to have to distance yourself away from them and, and start to stay away from people in that respect, which is a financial jealousy, but man, you'll have your friends will begin to get jealous of you just by you beginning to get your life together. You have friends that get jealous of you if you have an al a alcohol problem, a drug problem, if you have a gambling problem, and you start to turn that around and get your life together, you'll have friends that start getting jealous of you because of that. And even when you get your life together, they'll be like, oh man, she thinks she all that now. She thinks she all, she thinks she better than us now. She thinks she all that. She can't hang out no more. And you're like, you guys, drugs was killing me. Alcohol was killing me. This stuff was ruining my, ruining my life. I'm getting my life together. They should be happy for you. No. They're not happy for you. I remember one time, um, before I get to that, Lyle Lunar says, that's crazy what jealousy can do to people, especially men that you mentioned. Yeah, men, men are the worst. Let me tell you why men are the worst when it comes to jealousy. Because women, when, when women get jealous... They might fight sometimes and stuff like that. But when women get jealous, they more want to embarrass the other woman. They want to talk about her, right? Like if, if, if women get jealous of another woman, they'd be like, oh, look at this. Look at this ugly ass B, right? She thinks she all that. Hair all messed up. Da -da 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 -da, right? That's how women do it. Men, men don't really do that. Men get jealous of other men. They want to go fight them or they want to kill them. And that's why men being jealous... I more focus on because it's so dangerous because men get this rage and they like to act out physically and that's through fighting or through murder a lot of times when it comes to men. Um, and Superstar 617 says they may start bringing up the past. I was just about to get to that. Definitely Superstar 617, me and you sister, we're right here. And Beautiful Jewel says true. And that's exactly what happens you guys. They start to bring up the past. They bring up the past like man. Oh, you can't hang with us. She can't hang with us no more. He can't hang with us no more. He think he all that. He think he all that. He ain't. He ain't S H I T. He ain't shit. Da 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 da. That's exactly how they do you. And I was gonna say before. I remember um, um, Tupac, uh, the rapper Tupac, his uh, his his album, his uh, memorable album, the All Eyes on Me, that double uh, disc that he had, that double album he had back in the days. You know, before he did the Machiavelli, and he died, got murdered. But in, in that All Eyes on Me, um. Um, album. He had a song called Picture Me Rolling. And um, before he started to rap, when the song first comes on, he says, um, he says, why y'all look mad? Y'all act like y'all wanted to y'all wanted me to stay in jail. That's exactly what he says. He says, punk busters, picture me rolling in my 500 bins. I got no love for them niggas, <laughs> right? So he, he starts to rap for <laughs> Ain't no way we could be friends. <laughs> they got me under surveillance, <laughs> right? So, um, but he starts off, he says, he says, he's like, dang, like, he's like, he's kind of looking like y'all, like, I thought y'all were, like, would want to see me out of jail. 
right? Because Tupac was somebody who would always speak up for people, right? Remember Tupac, um, he would get in fights with like off-duty police officers. I think one time he got in a thing with an off-duty police officer. I think he shot one or something like that. Or he got in a fight with off-duty police officers because he had saw them beating up like a little black kid or a little, or they were double teaming or beating up a black guy. And he jumped in and defended the black guy who he didn't even know. So, you know, Tupac was always trying to fight for people and, and things like that. Um, and then he felt like, I guess, when he went to jail that, you know, people, the black community and like, you know, just like the community as a whole, you know what I'm saying, that, you know, he, he's like, dang, man, like all I did, I always represented for us, I always represented for, you know, us as a black culture and like now that I'm out of jail, it seems like some of y'all wanted me to stay in jail, like y'all hating on me, like y'all don't want to see me do better. And I think that's part of the reason, in my personal opinion, this is a little side note, I'm going to get back to the jealousy thing, but my personal opinion, I think that's part of the reason why Tupac kind of started to go a little kind of quote unquote, you know, um, he kind of got a little angrier, I think, in his death row days, um, he joined death row before his death, um, he got out of jail, did the all eyes on me and stuff like that, because I think he got out and I think he was kind of hurt, right, because before that, Tupac was really conscious about things, and he was conscious during his death row days also, he had a lot of conscious albums, I mean, a lot of conscious songs and things like that, but I think that, um, that, you know, kind of hurt his feelings, that he felt like, man, like, look at this, like, even people that, you know, I would think would have my back or I think would be happy for me, they're not happy for me. But that's how it's going to happen, you guys. And I just want to give that example to bring it back to say that's how it's going to happen. It'll be it's going to be the people when you start to rise up and you start to do better for yourself and you start to fulfill your dreams It's going to be the people that are closest to you. The people that are closest to you that are going to want to see, that are going to talk about you and want to see you fall. And they're not, they're not going to want to see you rise up. Lyle Leonard says, yes, that's true. It's ridiculous. Um, people need to get it together. Definitely. And so it is ridiculous, man. People need to get it together, man, and, and stop being jealous of other people, you know. And um, it's just hard, man. It's difficult, you know. It's really difficult for people to do that. All right, so I'm almost done, you guys. Got this last page of notes. And look at all these notes we went through. Woo, jealousy. Woo, woo. We done been, look at this. We went through all this, this. We did this page. We did this page, this. Oh, man, look at this. We've been moving, people. We've been moving. Did this and this, and now we're going to do this. The last page, people, last page. These are my three steps. For everybody out there who's jealous, these are my three steps to get over your jealousy. My last page. We're going to go over this, and then we'll be done with this episode of Diversity I'll Focus. So I thank you guys for sticking with me this long. One more page, my three steps. You guys, jealousy is a problem. I'm going to try to find a solution. All right, here we go. Here we go. Lyle's Leonard says, Adam Mowers has joined us. Adam Mowers in the building. I see you, Adam. Lyle's, Lyle's Leonard 67 says, I want my people to, to succeed, not fail. Man, definitely, Lyle's Leonard. I'm with you 100%, man. I want, you know, I want all people to succeed. I want everybody to succeed, man. I want everybody to fulfill their dreams, man, no matter who you are. And, you know, I, I'm, I'm, I'm behind you guys 100%. I always say, if anybody ever has any questions or anything, you guys can always DM me or get at me, man. I want everybody to succeed, man, to fulfill your dreams. And I just want to sit back and I want you guys to contact me and be like, man, you know what? I always wanted to do this and I'm doing it. Or I got this job or I got this loan. I'm going to open up this business and things like that. Um, I really, that's all I want to hear, you guys, you know, I don't care, man, I've never, I don't get jealous of anybody, like, I, I am who I am, and I love who I am, right, I, I've always loved who I am, I've never been jealous of anybody, if you are a type of person that gets jealous, hey, I'm not saying I'm better than you, you know what I mean, some people get jealous, I'm here to help you guys try to get over that jealousy if you are a jealous person, it happens to a lot of people, you guys, happens to a lot of people. Don't be ashamed if you're a jealous person. Don't think I'm coming down on you with these last couple episodes of Diversity Outspoken. If you're a jealous person, I'm here to help everybody out, right? First, we say what the problem is, right? And then we help everybody out, right? But man, like for me personally, I've never been a jealous person. I'm just who I am. And I've always just loved who I am. You know what I mean? Um, thankfully, you know, praise the Lord. I've always been blessed. Um, and I continue to be blessed um, very heavily. Um, you know, by God, if you don't believe in God, hey, that's not a problem, you know what I'm saying, you're accepting here, you're, you're accepted here on Diversity Outspoken, everybody, any religion, if you're not religious at all, you're still accepted here equally on Diversity Outspoken, but for me personally, you know, God has blessed me 
um, in, in, a, in a major, major, major way, you guys. And um, and that's just what it is. But hey, man, you know, if you're the type that gets jealous, I'm here to help you out, you guys. Just you know, we're here to help you out. And even beautiful Jewel, beautiful Jewel says she's not jealous either. She's like, exactly um, me either. I'm glad to see people winning. Definitely, definitely, definitely. And you know what? I wouldn't, I wouldn't expect anything less, anything otherwise, from the most beautiful Jewel, the most beautiful Jewel. The most beautiful gem in the world because a gem is a jewel. <laughs> for sure, for sure, for sure, for sure. It always is. Superstar 617 says, what is for you will always be for you. That's it. The only thing you can do, people, is work hard. That's all you can do. Work hard, be nice to people. That's all I say. Work hard, be nice to people, and treat people right. That's all you got to do. That's all you got to do. Work hard, be nice to people, treat people right. Because look, you got to do all of those things now. You got to do all of those things to be nice to people and treat people right. I think that kind of goes hand in hand. It's kind of like I'm saying the same thing with those two things. But you got to work hard, be nice to people, and treat them right, you guys. You got to. Because look, you can be nice to people and treat people right. But if you're not working hard and then you're not succeeding and being where you want to be in life, and then you get jealous of other people, other people because they have more than you. But if you're not working hard, even if you're treating people right and treating people nice, if you're not working hard, then you can't be you can't blame anybody but yourself. You shouldn't be jealous of somebody else's financial success if you're not working hard. Okay? You can't. And likewise, on the opposite scale, if you're working hard but you're not treating people right and treating people nice, then guess what? God is going to block your blessings. So you can work as hard as you want to. If you're working hard and you can get, you can work hard and have financial success, but guess what? You working hard and having all this money, I bet you, I bet you one thing, you still won't be as happy as you could be. You still won't be as happy as you could be. Because if you don't treat people right and treat people nice, no matter how much money, no matter how hard you work, you'll still have emptiness inside your soul and inside your heart. Guarantee. Guarantee. Okay? Guarantee. Because look, if you work hard, not, not, not saying like you work hard, you have to be a multi-millionaire, but just work hard. If you work hard to your capability, you don't even have to be somebody who makes a whole bunch of money but if you work hard to your capability and you are super nice and super polite and respectful of other people you're going to be super happy you're going to be happy all the time no matter what anybody says to you or anything like that you're not even going to let it too much get to you guys because you'll always be happy and every day will always be the sun shining bright right Okay, Superstar 617 says, and good intentions to, to that, and you will yeah, add good intentions to that, and you will be blessed. Definitely got to add good intentions, right? Got to have good intentions, right? And you will definitely be blessed. Definitely be blessed. Now, if you are a jealous person, listen up. We're going to fix your jealousy right now <laughs> with, with Anti Imperial's three step program. <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> if you are a jealous person, we're going to fix that jealousy right now. So, step one. If you are a jealous person, step one, you have to acknowledge. Acknowledge that you are jealous. You have to acknowledge that, people. Acknowledge, acknowledge, acknowledge. Don't try to run away from the truth. You have to acknowledge that. Admit that you are a jealous person. Admit it to yourself. Admit that you are a jealous person. Okay, now if you get jealous by certain events, right? If you get jealous by certain things, if you find that you're ever getting jealous, this goes for all of us, right? If you ever find that you're getting jealous of something, this is what you want to do. You want to write down why you are jealous. And you're like, oh, anti-imperial. That sounds ridiculous for me to have to write it down. Why do I have to write it down? You want to write down, you guys, write it down. Don't show it to anybody, okay? You don't want to show it to anybody, but you want to write it down, all right? You want to write it down. 
bring the sound up real quick. Make sure you want to write that down, okay? You don't want to show it to anybody, but you definitely want to write it down, all right? You want to write that down. Write down why you're jealous. The reason why you want to write it down is because, what's going on, what's going on, sweetest candy kisses, how you doing, beautiful sister? The reason why you want to write it down, you guys, is because no matter what, and this is with everything, you guys have heard this before, no matter what it is, when you write things down, they bring you a clarity that you can see that if you don't write it down. All right? Even if you know it in your mind, when you write things down, they bring you a clarity that you can't see if you don't write it down. What's going on, beautiful MJ? How you doing, sister? That you, do, that you don't have if you don't write it down. This is the reason why they always tell you people who are successful, they write down what they have to do every day. They write down what is needed. They write down their dreams, right? They write down their goals because you have to see it, you guys. You have to write it down and see it because it brings you a clarity of organization within your mind, okay? It helps you organize your thoughts when you write it down. So if you're ever finding yourself becoming jealous of anything, step one, acknowledge it by writing it down. Write down exactly how you feel. Nobody else will be seeing this. Keep this to yourself. Whatever you are writing, keep it to yourself. Write down exactly how you feel. That is step one, okay? That is step one. For example, let's say that you have best friends. Let's say you have two or three best friends. And let's say that your best friends, this is, this, this, this is just an example. Let's say, let's say that your best friends are going to a party. Or they go to the mall. Or they go to a club. Or they go to the movies. And they didn't invite you. Uh-oh. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> right? They didn't invite you, okay? Your best friends went out without you. They didn't invite you. Didn't tell you. Didn't invite you. You become jealous. Write down exactly why you are jealous. I am jealous because my best friends, so-and-so, so-and-so, and so-and-so, went to the mall and didn't even tell me and didn't invite me. I saw it on their social media. They went shopping. Or they went to a club. Didn't tell me, didn't invite me. They went to a party. Didn't tell me. I saw it on their social media. Write down exactly how you feel. That's number one. Now, once you write that down, step two, communicate. Communicate. Step two, communicate. Now that you have that written down, step two, you have to communicate, you guys. Communicate with them, okay? Communicate with them. Do not, I repeat, do not have an imaginary conversation with them within your mind. Don't do it. Do not have an imaginary. I put it here. Imaginary. Imaginary. Do not. Okay? Do not have an imaginary conversation with them within your mind. Don't do it. You'll only make it worse. As a matter of fact, people know what I mean because you'll have it to where... Um, Get into a different example. We've all heard of or seen in movies or know of like guys. And this is why guys become so, this is why guys' jealousy is so dangerous. Guys do this all the time. Why? And what type of situation? Because one thing that guys really can't stand is when they think about a lot of guys, most guys, I'm not really, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not really like this person myself, but most guys, when they think about their current girlfriend or current wife, um, having had had sex with somebody, like an, another guy in the past, right? So even like an ex-boyfriend or something like that. For some reason, guys, a lot of guys, you, you guys, a lot of time, they'll be like, oh, was he better than me? Was he good? Was he this? Was he that? Right? And, and guys get into that and they want to know that and want to know those things because guys, for some reason, they have in their mind, they will imagine that their girlfriend or their wife with an ex-boyfriend or ex-husband or something like that, they imagine the sex in their mind with being like, like, a, like a porn movie. And in reality, it probably wasn't even like that. 
But guys, when they imagine it in their mind, they imagine it like it was like they pictured their wife or their girlfriend being with some other guy, their ex girl, ex boyfriend, or ex husband. Guys, the current guy will picture it in their mind like they they picture their wife in like a porn movie with this guy, right? And in reality, it probably wasn't even like that. But that's how the mind works. And that's a whole different diversity I spoke in episode is how the mind works. And that's a psychological thing. You guys know one of my um, um, things that is in psycho- psych- psychology. Um, because I know I have a bachelor's in liberal arts and I did also social sciences and when I went to college and got my master's degrees and my PhD. And one of the things that we covered um, extensively was I had a whole bunch of psychology classes because I had to get go through psychology for one of my master's degrees. And so, man, the way the mind works with the imagination is crazy. So, getting back to this. So, do not, um, do not go through the conversation with your best friends in your mind, okay? So, step one, acknowledge that you're jealous about something. Write down exactly what you're jealous about. Step two, communicate with your friends about why you're jealous, right? So we gave the example, they went out to the mall or a party or a club or movies and they didn't, they, did, they didn't tell you and they didn't invite you, okay? Now, being that that's the case, step two, you communicate with them. Don't have the conversation in your mind. Don't have an imaginary conversation. Tell them exactly how you feel, Okay? This should be easier for you because after you wrote it down, that organization of clarity from you writing it down will allow you to word yourself much better. Tell them exactly how you feel. Use the word I. Okay? Use the word I. Say, look, you guys, I feel like this. Look, I feel like you guys didn't treat me right or I feel like you guys were avoiding me or I feel like you guys are leaving me out of things because you went to the mall I saw it on your social media you went to the movies you went to the club you went to the party you guys didn't even tell me about it didn't even invite me tell them just like that exactly how you feel okay so tell them like you know just let let them know just be like look is there something I should read from this like do you guys not want me around is there a reason why you didn't tell me about it talk to them straight up Tell them exactly how you feel, okay? That is step two, all right? That is step two. Do not, you guys, do not do the passive-aggressive thing where, like, and this this right here, to me, this is just me. You might disagree. To me, this right here is kind of like people that do, like, the passive-aggressive thing as far as, like, the quotes. And I see this a lot um, on social media. And that is when people, they'll get like quotes that like, you know, like quotes that have already been written. They'll get like, you know, like things of quotes that kind of like show like how they feel. And they'll take the quote and they'll post the quote that they grab from like the internet or something like that. They'll post the quote and the quote will be like, um, let me think of one. The quote will be something like, I'm going to make up something. So this is not like an exact quote, but it'd be something like, um, people might think that I don't see what they're saying behind my back, but I see it. Or something like that. It'd be a quote like that, right? People might think they're leaving me behind, but I'm already in front. <laughs> or something. It'd be, <laughs> you know how those quotes be on social media, right? <laughs> those quotes, it'd be something like that. It'd be like, people, you know what I'm saying? People, or, or uh, he might think that I don't know he's out there with a girl, but I know. Or something, it'll be something like that. So people be posting these quotes. You guys, go straight to the person. Stop doing the passive aggressive things where you're posting quotes, okay? You're posting quotes that, the, and you want the person to know who, they, who you're talking about and people don't know. And some of your friends think you're talking about them. You're not even talking about them because you did some passive aggressive quote that you grabbed off the internet. No, just be a grown up and go straight to the person. Write down what you're jealous about. Go straight to the person. Tell them exactly how you feel. That's it. Stop doing the, the passive-aggressive quotes, people. Okay? Stop doing it. It's, you're, you're, we're, we're, we're mature. We're adults. Stop doing the passive-aggressive quotes. All right? So that's step two. Step three is to resolve the situation. We're almost done. Step three, resolve. All right? Resolve. Okay? 
resolve it. See it. See it from their point of view. See it from their point of view. After you tell them exactly how you feel, give them a chance to explain. Try to see it from their point of view. Okay? Try to see it from their point of view. What's going on, Caitlin? Caitlin Newsom 94, I see you. They might say something like, well, you know, you know, you, you know, anti-imperial, you know, anti, you know, old dog. Like if I come to them, they might say like, oh, dog, we went to the movies to see a, a horror movie and we know that you don't like horror movies. So we didn't even ask you to come. What's going on, Osario Carmen? I see you, Carmen Osario, right? We know that you don't like horror movies, so we didn't ask you to come because the last time you came to a horror movie, you walked out on us, old dog. So what do you want us to do this time? Right? They might say something like that. They might say something like, well, you know, old dog, we didn't tell you to come to the mall because we were going to go to the store to shop for shoes and we know that you hate shopping because last time we went to the mall and we took you with us we were there for like five hours and the whole time old dog you were there complaining huffing and puffing every store oh, we're not gonna leave yet because we know old dog you don't like shopping so when we decided to go to the mall we knew we were going shoe shopping and we were going to be there for at least five six hours so we knew that you wouldn't like that and we didn't want you to be there and be uncomfortable. So old dog, we didn't tell you. That is why we didn't tell you. They might say that. You see what I mean? So they might have a good reason or a good excuse, you guys. So once you acknowledge, write it down exactly how you feel, communicate with them, go to them, tell them exactly how you feel. You have to sit there and then listen to what they say to resolve the situation. Because once they say something like that, like, oh, like we were like, you know, we, we know you don't like the mall. We know that it gets on your nerves with all the people around. You don't like big crowds. So we just didn't tell you about it. You might be like, oh, oh OK, well, you know, make me feel a little bit better. Right. I, you know, you guys were looking out for my feelings. Right. So it might be something that you might be getting yourself worked up about. And it's not even worth getting work, worked up about. That's why you can't have that imaginary conversation in your mind and you can't post the, the um, you can't post the, um, the um, passive aggressive um, quotes on social media, you guys, because it won't get to the bottom and you'll never resolve the situation. So make sure you guys resolve the situation, you guys. Um, communication is the key. You guys, I have a, I have a diversity outspoken episode on cliches. Cliches exist for a reason. And as we all have always heard, communication is the key to any relationship. Patience and communication. You got to be patient and you have to communicate, you guys. So before you speak, before you speak, make sure you have all of the information. I say that again. Before you come out of your mouth to speak, people, make sure you have all of the facts, all of the information. Okay? Make sure of that. What's going on, Torres? Lena Torres, 406-2018. 406-2018. It's all good. It's all good. It's all good. I appreciate it, people. Old dog and time period of chill. Thank you very much. That's how jealousy works, you guys. You guys, I want all of you guys to succeed. Be careful of the jealous people around you. I love all you guys. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. Old dog, Anton Pure to Chill. Old dog, you guys. That's my artist name, Anton Pure to Chill. Old dog is kind of like a he's kind of like a little thug. He's kind of sexually explicit. He's a clown, likes to have fun, a um, little gangster and stuff like that. Anton Pure is the center. Old dog, Anton Pure the Chill. Anton Pure is the center. Because Anton Pirro is who I truly am. Anton Pirro is all about upliftment, education, psychology, sociology, political science, international political science, history, um, government, economics, physiology, sociology, philosophy, and things like that. What's going on? Zara Sana number one. Zara Sana number one. How you doing? 
the real Quan Quan sees what's going on. I'm about to end it, but I'm glad you guys can join. That is anti-imperial. And the chill is the last name. The chill is the hopeless romantic, all about falling in love, raising a family, and things like that. We call this diversity outspoken, you guys. Diversity outspoken, you guys, is all about diversity outspoken, you guys, is all about being here and being together, you guys. We are a family. We call this diversity outspoken because we speak about a diverse range of topics. Right, we speak about a diverse range of topics, meaning that we speak about everything and anything, and we are outspoken, meaning that we are straight to the point about those topics. For sure, for sure, for sure. We appreciate it, you guys. We appreciate you having you here. We do this, Diversity Outspoken, every Wednesday night, every Sunday night, you guys, every Wednesday night and every Sunday night, and that is 9 o'clock p.m., and that is Eastern Time Zone, United States time, so every Wednesday night. 9 o'clock p.m. United States Eastern Time Zone. And every Sunday night, 9 o'clock p.m. United States Eastern Time Zone. Definitely, 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 it's all good, you guys. Quancy, Quancy says, Booker T won a state game. <laughs> it's all good. So shout out to you guys over there in Miami. Shout out to you guys in the United States. Football season over there, and people are winning football games. Definitely, 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 it's all good. You guys take care. For sure, for sure, for sure. My rule here is the only rule, the number one rule, and you guys always follow it, and that is that we're respectful of each other. While we're here on Diversity Outspoken, you're respectful of the entire, entire situation, you guys. So, you guys, I appreciate you guys being here. I appreciate you guys being respectful of the environment. I love you guys being here. I want the best for all of you guys. I want you guys to go on and continue to rise up and be successful with everything that you're going to do in life. You guys can follow me on Instagram and on TikTok at anti underscore imperial. On Instagram and TikTok at anti underscore imperial. You see it right here in the t-shirt. Ta-da! Ta-da! Hey, you guys know I'm a nerd in the door. You guys might as well go ahead and smile and laugh with me. Might as well go ahead and smile and laugh with me. Anti under, under, underscore imperial, you guys. Um, on Instagram and on TikTok and on YouTube, it's just anti imperial with the space in between without the underscore. So on Instagram and TikTok, underscore. On YouTube, no underscore. On Instagram and TikTok, underscore. On YouTube, no underscore and that's how that goes you guys and you guys definitely if you have me on instagram the easiest way to subscribe to my youtube you want to be subscribed to the youtube why aren't you subscribed to the youtube the easiest way you guys to subscribe to my youtube is to go to my instagram bio page if you have me on instagram and on that instagram bio page you guys know on our ig bio page we get that one line for a link we have a link, right? That one line where you can put a link, and that link will always be my latest video. You can go ahead and click that link, and that video will come up. It will be a YouTube video, and go ahead when that video comes up and hit the, hit the subscribe button right there, you guys. I appreciate it, you guys. You guys take care of yourselves. Until next time, old dog and time, period of chill, diversity outspoken. Thank you guys for everything. I love you guys. Peace and love. Peace and respect to you, Quan. See my brother, the real Quan, number one. Peace and respect to everybody out there. I love all of you guys. No matter who you are, no matter what you're doing, no matter what race, religion, culture, creed, you guys, no matter what your beliefs are, I love all of you guys out there. You guys take care. Best of luck. Much respect, you guys. Take care, all right? Bye-bye. Peace. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye, -bye. <laughs>